Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Zara Designer Pro X9. Today I'm going to show you how to do some tracing on a photograph. Just bring in the photograph here. And it's a photograph of many fish and I just want to get one of them. Could use the live tracing tool but it's going to trace everything. And really in this application looking for a nice clean uh, drawing of a fish. So first, press F4 on the keyboard and zoom in here and start to look at the curve of the fish here and where to put some of these lines. Just draw a couple of them out here and change the line color to pink. Got SARS set up to right click on a swatch here and it will change the line. If you right click on it when it's first installed you will get a menu that will ask you if you want to change line color and alternatively you can go over here to this color editor and change the line that way. So now that a couple of lines are drawn while you're in the shape tool you also get this uh, shaping tool here to start to shape your lines. Let's draw out another one right here. and just keep going around and shaping your line if you run into a problem where you get disconnected from the line just click on the last node again start where you left off nice thing about ZAR is it's not filling in the shape it's only using the line right now and just keep going around speed this up a little bit and show you where we might need to use the smooth join or cusp join Try that one right here. Click on the node and then go up here and click on this. And it'll go out of whack just for a little bit. Then click on the last node again. and just keep going around as you go you'll probably see more opportunities to use maybe one line if you run into this where you need another uh, line just double click Looks like there's a little fin right there too. And it looks like almost in the home stretch. Now once I click here it's going to fill in. And change that back to pink and look and once it's filled in you can also adjust the line so got that part and change it back to no fill and then go back here now you can deselect the line by pressing escape on the keyboard and then start on another part and this one looks like it's going to be a closed shape but let's say that you had something that wasn't a closed shape and you just wanted to fill across well you can do that by first drawing a shape and then select the inside color here let's click this black color and it's not going to have a stroke on it then select both of them 
go to arrange and join shapes and it will fill in this shape even though it's not a closed path then go back to arrange and break shapes and delete your shape or leave it there if you're going to use it over and then you'll have this shape that will be uh, filled in just select this line here looks a little dark so and that's how that you start drawing something like this and uh, you can see how you're doing turn off the photograph and that's how to start using the shape tool and pick out parts out of a photograph so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial if you have any questions please leave some comments take care now bye bye